Baby boomers, we who were born 1946 to 1964, is YouTube something for us? Stay tuned. Hi there and welcome to this episode where we will reveal the behavior of us baby boomers and how we fit into society which has passed through a massive digitalization during the last decade. As individuals we are different but as a general summary you can say that the core values for us boomers consist of professional growth, overall well-being and a healthy lifestyle. A general perception is that social media is for the younger generations rather than for us boomers reaching a certain age. But do you know what? Nothing can be more wrong. Instead, reports say that boomers who have, for example, a television subscription tend to cancel them and get the same content from the internet. And here YouTube is a natural next step to take. So what are baby boomers searching for on YouTube? Well, according to Google, 54% of boomers watch online videos for news, information and entertainment. We baby boomers are an information seeking generation and YouTube is a favorite medium. With YouTube you save time and get precise to the point, so to say, information. Statistics shows that boomers are 1.3 times more interested in watching a tutorial video on YouTube rather than reading instructions in a manual. Further, YouTube is becoming a platform for us boomers to learn new skills. In summary, we baby boomers use YouTube for news, entertainment, general information, tutorials and learning. What is important to know is that one out of three boomers visits YouTube to better understand a product or a service. And in the industries that have the highest YouTube views by boomers are travel, home appliances, entertainment and telecommunication. Now by knowing what we grown up people like to view on YouTube, let's turn it all around and ask what can you do with YouTube? I mean is there anything you can do actively and to take advantage of this video channel that baby boomers have taken to their hearts? Of course there is. And there are plenty of opportunities waiting for you out there. But first things first, how do you successfully formulate your message on YouTube to baby boomers? To be successful with YouTube message, information, promotion or whatever it can be, here are four don'ts you must watch out for. Number one, never use words hinting that we baby boomers are old. We hate to listen to that rubbish. Marketers already know that you are old if they have niched in their target group correctly. Number two, don't use teenage jargon, trendy language and internet slang. It will seldom appeal to us baby boomers. Number three, there it is, don't be selfish in your approach. We want to know what the product or service can do for us. What we purchase later on is value and price is what we pay. And finally, number four, avoid sentences like 
this over and ends within two hours. After midnight, the discount is gone, or similar statements, using pressure to try to get an order. It will give you a completely opposite result. What can you do then? Referring back to what has been mentioned earlier, here are four cru crucial things to think about. Number one, straightforward information will always appeal to us boomers. We do not listen to fluffy and weak words. To the point, so to say, is the direction to go. Number two, if your offer tutorials or instruction to learn new skills, it will be your effective eye-opener to any person, but particularly to us boomers. Number three, not being pushy in your approach. It will create confidence and trust. With age, you learn how to discover those, in my opinion, sweeping claims. Whatever you are offering, and that is number four, your approach must be backed up by facts. There should be no losing hanging words in the air, but facts and figures supporting your message. If the advice wasn't any surprise to you, good because then most probably you belong to the group of people who already know or have the same opinion as I have. In one of my earlier blog posts and in various videos I have published on YouTube, the same topic has been treated, but in a different direction, perhaps. However, one of the principal issues which all was well, at least almost always pops up for retired people or people about to retire is the one of finance, money, income, or whatever label you would like to use for this very, very, I would say, crucial issue. The cruel truth is that most retired people get frustrated when noticing that their monthly paycheck as retired is much less than during their active labor years. You know that you have to do something about it or lower your standard of living. The frustration becomes complete when you conclude that you don't like to do anything of these two alternatives. And how do you, do you solve that? I will not try to sell you anything, so don't worry. But if you can relate to my message so far, I highly recommend you to click on the link you will find below in the text here somewhere. You will get a video series sent to you explaining how to improve your lifestyle. With the promise to always be honest with you, I will tell you right away, this is not for everyone. But for you who view this as an exciting alternative, I can guarantee one thing. This will be a complete game changer for you. If you think this video is worth it, give it a thumb up, share it with uh, other people you think would benefit of it, and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you still need to do that. You will find the subscription box in the right corner further down on this video screen. Happy reading and all the best for a great future as retired.